what's up y'all it's me tasha c and in this video i will be doing my merry merry season three episode five review um sorry y'all it i ain't gonna lie to y'all even though i want to send the condolences out to tina erica google me to everyone the atkins camel's family and even because we know for a couple months ago before the season started that the father has passed. And, but it's still sad to see this in this season. So, um, not to say I'm trying to get the bad stuff out of the way for it, but like I said, um, yeah, but thank you all the support, but like I said, just, God bless all the family. We know at the end about they do a prayer when Erica uh, reveals to the other sisters that are on Bahamas. I think Lisa is one of the sisters too that tells her about their father having stage four cancer. And Tina, uh, you know, at the time it's like, just like, oh Lord, because you know they've been having conflict. Um, the father recently got married and said it was close family, friends or whatever. And you know, Tina's like, wait a minute, I don't even see, basically. You know, like, how can you do this? And stuff, so they've been having kind of a turbulation, but now she's just like, Oh Lord, because I think they, there was a birthday party, but one day, friends that was given the birthday party, um, that they decided it was that Liz Bahamas was a big love of the house, everybody, because I think a lot of them had their birthdays were right near each other. Sorry, I'm a little bit jumpy, but it's just like it's, it's just so sad. I not to say to get out the way, but it's just I don't, it's just so hard to think about that and, and we unfortunately got like I said I send condolences again to their family because of the circumstances and um yeah because Lisa told her right before they were about to perform where they're at at Bahamas that told Erica and Erica just broke down the scene that we've seen the previews Warren comes to console her but tells her don't tell her right Tina right before the concert because we already know and that's understandable that that was going to occur so like I say again, like send condolences and just I want to get up because I is it something about me? It's just it's just so sad. I've been but it's I don't it is just really sad, y'all. But so let's get on to what else I wanted to talk about. Um, sorry y'all, I could tell I'm <laughs> um emotional about that. You know, having but just knowing that that happened. And I know people who lost parents. It's not my first time like addressing it, but just it's just sad. Um, even my mom had lost both her parents. Not as early, but she lost them five months apart from each other when she was twenty years old. So I never got to see my grandparents at all. Um, on my mother's side, I know people who lost their parents when they were just born or born after in high school. I can go on and on, but let's take care of some other stuff. Like I said, we're going to put in God's hands prayer to heal the families. And that's how we're going to do on that one. But let me let me stretch out my neck like E.T. with some other stuff. Now, y'all, shout out to my fan Marcus Williams. Oh, uh, uh, YouTube fan Marcus Williams. I think Jamil T. He also does Mary Mary reviews as well. And I think the ghetto view also pray for her because she's still in the process of getting the other major surgery. And check out, I should, you know, check out her channel as well with her medical journey. She, that's a strong person. You rock were able to even display that. I know I'm just rambling, but... It's just one of those. But let's get into this. There's nothing wrong with having comments and disagree because it's good. So sometimes you may spot something other person, but that's the good thing. And if it's about YouTube is you're not supposed to every time post agree or somebody can spot off something else, right? There's a difference between discussion and debate and people just acting like because you don't agree everything exactly said or whatever unless they're getting paid from these people that we represented. And the reason why I had to say that, y'all is that I had to band because this person and I think I know who Marcus I know who you're talking about has been coming and I think I watched True Secret it's this particular person who was sitting up here um like basically checking first they try to check I don't like that neither I don't even like other sometimes people coming for my subbies neither that's not right either because this person first tried to come from my, uh, you know, like, disagree. Like, no, you don't know what you're talking about this, blah, 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 blah. I will not say the person's name because that's up to the subby to decide. I didn't talk to the subby in advance about it or contact them. Like, you know, do you want me to put your name out there? So that's up to them. Okay. 
I respect them. But I will say this. So then when I replied to the subby and I got the subby's name right in there, right? Blink, blink, blink. She got nerve. Yeah, I think that's that name. She. I'm just going to say like it is. We're going to name the name Nas, but it's a she, according to the name. Um, decides to come, I guess, and snap me. You, like, basically, like, you don't know time about this is this and this and this and this. I had to ban because I, it's a repeated pattern, and it turned out not only not because Mark and Mark and my, um, my YouTube fam cousin, Marcus said something about it, but yeah, she tried to come from the soul. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's like when you try attacking people just because they don't agree with you. Oh no, we we trying to bring positive. Yeah, I sometimes be ratchet and stuff like that in some of these people these ratchet shows. But you don't promote where you're almost like you're trying to, you know, attack, you know, add in all caps or something. I mean, they didn't use all caps, but you, you get what I'm saying. Is don't try to come at that way because that doesn't follow right here. Bless them. So anyway, let's get into the rest of this review. They, oh my gosh. Mitch is meeting up with Mary Mary's or his former to be ex employees or at least with one of his clients, ex clients, okay? Um, because they already said in advance that they gonna get rid of him and fire him, but they gotta find a way, which you were talking Warren about it, because Tina, you know, was talking about it with um um Warren and Cat er uh, Erica at the table for Teddy guy because he had an extra day or whatever. Um he, he was later on than everybody else. So anyways, here's go Mitch probably playing, you know, sitting here, probably playing at the Bahama music and say do 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 and then all of a sudden he's all like, Oh, I got my schedule clear, blah 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 but I had to admit like this. I kinda think I'm surprised or maybe because he still thought there was some chance of cool and just going through a bad moment. I personally consider the way they've been they've been conflicting. I wouldn't be one to go Bahamas with them or anything like that, period. Even you know, I'm like, you know, my schedule would be full. Or maybe that's just me. And then so the ladies decide when he all oh the Bahamas they tell him everything all the sisters celebrate the birthdays the husband coming and he just happy he about to think you going and they just you know rain on his parade and let him know like oh you ain't going we got the band we got the band's kid we got this band <laughs> we got the the interns but it won't be you and then you know so he just like okay but you can see how salty the mix was just salty and just left out of there so we fast forward we're on the trip. And, um, you know, they decide to have a choice where they can go on the boat or the boat, banana boat that's attached to the boat. They decide to go to that. And, I mean, so the boy that I think was Google, Erica, and Tina, and Elena. Elena decides to be eventually the daredevil. And she decides to stand. Already that thing is going kind of fast as is. You know, everybody else, they like, look my, no hands and everything. Just dragging on. And the next minute we know, as soon as she did, everybody just flipped over. I can laugh. I mean. It's funny because they're okay and stuff, so that, 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 that you know, that makes it funny. But, yeah, Elena talks to them later on, I guess, after they sit down and everything. I mean, did they get the ladies on the other boat, you know, but it did because the men did admit that the ones who do the tour guide and want to do staring the boats and everything, that because Elena wanted to be a daredevil is the reason why they tipped over. <laughs> so, Elena talks to them um, about... Uh, you know, the situation where her and her husband have like little bitty, bitty, bitty fights about everything. Like they're both strong minded, you know, stuff, you know, you know, heavy hit, you know, just they have, you know, so they're, you know, having basically some little quarrels going on. And, um, you know, she's just, you know, just probably indirect, probably indirect last but sister the advice and stuff. So, um, you know, disagrees, but I think isn't for what I hear actually they're expecting the first child. So obviously they reconcile very well. Congrats. <laughs> so but what I'm saying is is that um when they're talking with the sisters, um that's when Tina again decides to bring up to the sisters, like, when I told you about Teddy and his affair, y'all was supposed to be mad and Erica's like, you know, was saying confessionals not even to her, like, we were there because she basically was like this, y'all was supposed to be mad, y'all was supposed to be cussing at him in y'all minds, because you know, they ain't supposed to be cussing and stuff like that, but you know, I'm just saying, y'all was supposed to be cussing me, like, basically, like, you know, forget you, okay, Teddy, stuff like that, you know, you in the wrong, blah, 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 but she didn't feel like they were there enough, but see, here's also another conflict, the thing is, is that you thought Tina says she's forgive, and this is before we know about the affairs with the plural and probably multiple women. And then, I'm personally, this is me, y'all. You have to think, how long has this been occurring? Okay, so 
not only do you have to wonder about the countless affairs, because his excuse is because she's always been on the road, but I don't, I don't know how long they've been married. Was she already on the road when y'all were married? You know, uh, have you been doing this all through the marriage and beforehand? You, you gotta wonder some things. So, anyways, let's get back to the subject. But yeah, so she's all this, but like I said, as far as she's saying she forgives him, you can still see some hurt, and I don't know if this ain't hurt still there or to recognize what you know, just all you can do is hope for the best and for her situation. Because, you know, I, oof, yeah. But yeah, so speaking of affairs, um, Teddy, which I don't know y'all, y'all noticed when y'all look at his face now. I mean, he used to be cool and laid back and look like he might have smoked a joint or two. No offense, but I'm just saying he had always this coolness about himself the first two episodes. Maybe to me, y'all, but now he, even his face is just starting to show like this guilt. And that's the only reason why I told about the guilt. Not because that's something he needed to do and stuff like that, but it because... I don't know if he thought it was going to be found out or stuff like that. Not because he was ready to pit his sins. Maybe that's just me. But even his face, y'all, he don't even have that cool look anymore, y'all. He just be looking like, go and get caught. Already caught. Something, something. It's not the chill look, you know what I mean? Maybe just me. But it's not the chill look he used to have. So, um, and there was another scene, like I said, I already talked about the Tina and Erico and what I mean. This is the scene, now you got Teddy sitting here, talking to Warren, he finally arrived, but at first, yeah, well he arrived, but I don't know if this is after or before, um, I'll get into the Google, um, glam scob in a minute, but let's talk about this. So Teddy and Warren are talking, right, and Teddy decides to bring up and confess to Warren, and you know it's convenient, did you know it's most time, it was good that they did plug in, um, Erica's album. But you notice they put help both times conveniently when it had to do with the surface. And that word help just stood out to me, y'all. So as soon as he talking about the countless affairs, here come Erica's thing. Help. Help. Yeah, you're going to need help in a prayer because, uh, ooh, that's not going to be pretty. So he ends up telling Warren about the affairs. And Warren, this is again, he admits, like, I knew it was like to be on side. And he's like, you know, whatever affects you know, y'all relation face y'all basically because that's how cool they are. We already know not only cool, you know, out Warren and Teddy work together. You know, because they, like I said, they're part of the Soul Secret group. They're also performing the Souls, Erica and Erica. So, um, now we got another scene. Now let's fast forward to Glam Skull because like I said, we already know that, mm, we don't know who her response is going to be, whatever, but, you know, of course, you have, I, I, I'm sorry, there is a problem. I mean, some people, I mean, as to each his own, can take somebody, you know, even after it's one affair. But affairs, or if there's children involved, I'm just saying, that's a whole nother ball game. I'm, I'm just saying to each his own, y'all can put in y'all thoughts, but I'm just like, ooh, dude, I mean, I don't know if this could be classified as sexual addiction or whatever the case is, but it is a major problem because he's talking about affairs. We pause and several. I know she, Eric, Tina uh, already admitted it said years of an affair, so maybe he was saying it was with one particular person. But it just, when uh, y'all, whatever, <laughs> just, just, just get, get her, you know, wherever she decides to do, just, you know, whatever. But you know, all you can do is that, that's what it says you definitely got to put in God's hand and ask God and pray. I'm just saying this whole episode, one way or the other, either for it was just a lot going on this episode. Sorry, I'm repeating that, but I'm just saying. So, um, we got Google's Glam Scott. She got a suite is where, you know, she's got, you know, she got about, what, four or five people helping her. They get you together. Got some jewelry stuff. So, if you want to look fly or, you know, certain events and stuff, she has clients coming to clientele. So, you know, Google's about her business. I will give that girl credit, okay? Despite shenanigans, I was liking the business size. Unfortunately, it seemed like some of these people, I don't know how she's been working with them or how long she's been working with them whatever or how cool she's with them. But, you know, she... Erica and I think Tina, you know, Tina was supposed to come up there, but Tina, that's when Teddy, you know, had just came in or right before he made a decision later on to Warren that she decided to have some time um, with Teddy, some loving time. And so, you know, these ladies, you know, who's like, you know, she sends three, like, three out of five of them because I think she, she has one or two dudes. I think it's one dude that's part of Glam Slot. But she basically like this, you know, y'all go downstairs, go, you know, laundry, you know, pass out flyers, you know, get, you know, let them know we're servicing and we, you know, we open. And 
right around the time I think Erica Miller, she sings the heck out of a happy birthday song. Happy birthday, goo goo, okay? Because first she was all played and she all, let me, let me give you what I'm working with. This is how I got here. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, all of a sudden, we, you know, we, it, our, you know, time, tick, tick, to talk. These girls are going for our, not only these girls coming up for almost an hour later, these girls come back upstairs with the drinks. Okay, yeah, that's the same thing I was thinking. Like, you're already drinking on the job or whatever. But like Google said, because, you know, Google just was like a shock. And one of the ladies that had a drink was up here trying to think that she was going up here trying to put on makeup. I don't know how much they were drinking them now or how much they were lounging around or how many they took to, you know, or, you know, what is their tolerance level to alcohol. But we don't know. But I don't understand Erica's because, like, mm-mm, me and Google, so they talk, talk, you know, talk whatever on the side. Well, not on the side, but, you know, on the, you know, one of the paint thing and so she's basically like no 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 you know tina i can't be having this that that's okay but you know tina would have been you know you would have got it 20 times more worse than this as far as being checked by this like you know because google's like i don't know if it's the friend thing i don't know if it's this or that you I mean, maybe i'm being too nice but you know you know you know erica's like basically like, this is unprofessional stuff like that and what they do reflect basically you know you you know basically one of them type of times basically like, you're not letting the, these people was checked you know stuff like that or whatever or how you know these people you know basically like you know get your squad together okay okay so Erica leaves and she basically let them all know like you know especially pertaining to these three ladies that decided to have some patina coladas and some key tequila sunrise and a margarita and she says here and she's just like you know what let, let me have a talk with y'all Erica just left and let me know that she was basically displeased because of th this of this drink and everything else and our professionalism and let y'all know we ain't gonna do that friends anymore it is business we ain't gonna we ain't, you know it's basically get to work it's glam this is my stuff you know we we're on the clock until y'all finish the last client and y'all can do whatever the heck you want to do but that's that so you know she basically had to pay a check I don't know if she's gonna be working with these ladies in the near future that's what I'm saying I might have to get some more applications or resumes out you know after that because that 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 was basically just unprofessional so so the ladies i think go oh, they see teddy and um warren and two i think it's two other men they're in the soul singer teddy's the singer part you know it's the leading scene you got the three men in the background but teddy's all feeling guilty and stuff like that and he has a knife in his stomach and he's feeling like you know this guilt even though he's able to perform um this guilt is coming about these countless affairs of him having confessed he only confessed to like maybe about 65 percent and then forgot the rest of it and um so he performs you know erica's you know tina like, tina's like you know i you know i may can't stand him but i love him is basically like this and you're trying to work it out and then they got to perform and then unfortunately we hear that devastating news and then when they're on the stage you know Katie's on the side while tina's seeing when they were seeing yesterday again and you know Tina was just saying that's how she feels now she's basically cried her last tears and her and Teddy are working on their stuff and again why y'all I don't know why it stood out to me and maybe that's just my my tale but sh again we see Erica Campbell song and the word just stood out help and it's just exactly after Tina was talking about dealing with the affairs and we kind of, you know, maybe that's why we see in the next previews, y'all, about how we're seeing Erica. I don't know it could be a combination with the dad because that's already a sad and just stressful time and just whole emotional time just with that situation with him and, you know, the illness being, unfortunately, in the terminal stage of cancer. And then, but then Teddy, too, just said in the preview warning again, I told her about the thing, so there's going to be some help, all right, because Tina back in is back up. So that lovely cloud they were on, you know, you now they sink it through the cloud at the moment. So, <sighs> so pretty much I think I went through the episode back backwards. That was pretty much, I'm usually rambling, y'all, but like I said, a shout out to my YouTube fam, um, my old new subscriber, not subscribe, quick down below. I'm the like. Um, like and comment. I'll try to get back to y'all comments as many as I can and and how time goes. But yes, I hope you have a pleasant weekend, pleasant um, day and pleasant night. And I definitely all see you in the next video. Y'all will be seeing to me tomorrow. I'm going to try to upload these videos tonight and i definitely be back tomorrow. Um, if y'all also watch some of my other reviews. So I will be back to the Ratchetness of Basketball Wives LA and 
the premiere um the season premiere i don't know black ink season 2.5 or 3.3 but yeah y'all have a pleasant y'all y'all and take care